And welcome back, folks, to this, our sixth edition of Mo Player Your Cards Right, a competition run in conjunction with the Montrose Community Trust and our players this evening. For the fans, it's Chris Jansen. And for the players, it's Mr. Paul Watson. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, gentlemen, nice to see you both. You too, Roscoe. Hello, Sweet. mate. Now you but now I'm gonna I'm gonna start, lads, by basically just finding out what lockdown two is bringing to the party for you guys. So, Chris, I'll start with you. How are how are things with you at the moment? Um, well, there's nothing open, nothing we can really do. So it's just been work home and then I've took up walking as well so it's been quite a boring year to be honest <laughs> <laughs> Has it been good for the waistline though Chris, all this walking? Well yeah, but about a stone and a half down actually since New Year so not doing too bad but I'm pretty sure when the booze is open they'll be straight back on <laughs> <laughs> But at least you can afford to put it back on, that's the good thing you see. Well, well I suppose so It's a good, it's a good starting point It's a nice balance yeah. And what about yourself, Paul? How are you getting on, Paul? Uh, fed up, to be honest. Yeah, I've been building. I've got a half-built igloo in the garden for the last couple of days. That's been about as exciting as it's getting. So, uh, yeah, nah, a bit, a bit annoyed. A bit, a bit deflated with the announcement yesterday with the league as well. So, yeah, was hoping we'd be back training next week, but it's not looking like it's happening. So, yeah, not good. Not good. But what else can we do? It's got to go on, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, it is, it's It's pretty demoralising for everybody who's involved with, with football, never mind, you know, just our, our club. It's, mm -hmm. um, it's not great news, that's for sure. No. Yeah, a lot of people missing it desperately. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. That's the thing. Well, uh, Chris, uh, I believe that you've got a question that you want to ask, Paul. So, fire away, pal. Um, the first time we come to watch Montrose are in, well, March in 2012. Um, just wonder if you've got any memories of that day. It was a uh, East Stirling away at Stenhouse Muir. Oh, was that in 2012? Jesus. What was the score? 2-1. Um, you scored a free kick in the last minute. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Was that the first game you were at? <laughs> yeah, the first game we came to, yeah. Cheesy, peeps. Actually, you boys and keep saying this, but you need to come up more often because I do tend to score when you come in the games. Eh? <laughs> but, um, the one, uh, what was the last game you were at? Oh, broke the way. Oh, yeah, no, I've never scored at that, no. Yeah, we'll not talk about that one. We'll not talk about that, yeah. But no, that was, I can't believe that was eight years ago, man, that you were you first came up. So, yeah, I've got it up on my Facebook today, actually, so I wasn't too sure of the date, so I thought I'd get it up and have a look. But, yeah, March uh, 2012. What, what was the story behind it again that you first came up? Was it something to do with a bet you lost or something? No. Yeah, we had a bet and the only team that actually lost were on the bet was Montrose. Yeah. So it were sort of said in jest, we'll go up and have a look at them. Um, and yeah, it just went from there. Yeah, that was a that was unfortunately a common theme <laughs> in those days. That's probably why we lost. But yeah, nah, so I can't believe that's been eight years. Yeah, that's been mad. Uh, come a long way since then, to be fair. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you brought us some good luck. <laughs> well, well, the only time we saw you lot uh, lose was at our broke away. Yeah. That would have been, it all rolls into one. 2018, was it? Probably 2019. We're a bit yeah, alive. maybe. We played them quite, quite a lot around those those years when the Cups and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, I was going to say, it's not been all bad because Chris did win £500. I saw uh, that, yeah. I saw that. Yeah, so well, the, 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 that was between all of us, so it sort of paid for this year for the Montrose bonus ball, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, if we win this year, we win profit. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> well, <I'm not>. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, chaps, here we go. This is it. It's um, more player your cards, right? So, it's uh, time for me to introduce you to my colleague this evening. So, I am the leader of the pack which makes me such a lucky jack. These hands, they were made for feeling. So, Brian Petrie, you do the dealing. Here he goes. Oh, wow. Right. That was terrible, Ross. Yeah, terrible. No, no, no. Really bad. Just as well, Bruce is no longer here. <laughs> 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 he will, <laughs> he be will turning, probably be turning his grave. Turn <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see, lads, um, we've got Brian shuffling away there, so there's no cheating going on. 
the red cards are going to be Chris's. And uh, Paul, you're on the green and the black. So tonight, lads, you're playing three games, which means one of you is going to win tonight. But this isn't just about you two. This is running over 11 different programmes. So we've got fans against uh, players and 33 games in total up for grabs. So the first to 17 is going to win. And uh, currently, at this precise moment of time, it is nine to the fans and six to the players. So Paul, There's no pressure on me there, really. No pressure on you. You, <laughs> you cannot be losing at the end of this game. <laughs> Worst case scenario, it's a draw. So... Um, we're going to start with our uh, question to see who gets control of the board. And the first question is going to Chris. So here we go. On April the 1st, 2017, Paul scored a jammy goal from his own half against Edinburgh City. We was there. Yeah, they were at that. They were at that one. <laughs> so you, you've seen it. Now, that was viewed over 350,000 times on social media. However, what was the official distance that was given to the, the goal? How far was he out when he struck the ball? And this is in yards. I don't even know how many yards in a football pitch. Um, I'll go 56. He's gone 56. So, Paul, do you think... It is higher or lower than 56 yards. Higher. It's gone higher. It was officially recorded at 58 yards. <laughs> oh, you were close, close. But you were close. Oh, unlucky, mate. Let's unlucky. Go. Paul, you have got control of the board. And the first card is a jock. Now, you can change that if you want, or are you happy with it? Uh, I'm happy with that. Okay, so what are you going then? What's your next one? Lower. We're going lower than a jock. It's a queen. Unlucky. Oh, my God. That is a stitch up. No wonder the fans are winning. That is a stitch up. It's so I'm shuffling them, right? I, I saw Brenda's card. hand come in and change a card there. It's also a jock, Chris. So are you happy with that or do you want to change it? No, I'll stay with that. Okay, so what are you going? Higher or lower? Lower, please. We're going lower than the jock. It's a seven. Lower. He's gone lower than seven. Oh, we've got a nine. Right, OK, so we're back to you then, Paul. So you're currently sitting on a queen. Are you happy with that? Yep. Where are you going then? I'll go lower. Lower than the queen. We've got a four. What do you think? Higher yes. or four? Higher. Higher than a four? It's a two. Ooh, <laughs> right, Chris. So you're currently sitting there with a nine, which you can swap if you like. No, I'll stay with a nine. Okay, so higher or lower? Lower. We're going lower than a nine. Well, we've got a five for the game. Higher or lower okay. than a five? He's, I going agree. Higher. He's going higher than a five for the game. And he's got it, a 10. Rubbish. Well done, Chris. Look at that, Paul. Yeah, no, that was very harsh, I think. Again, I'm not, not convinced with the deal in here, but... Oh, dear me. <laughs> this sounds like terrible losing here, Paul. I'm only kidding. Yeah, I'm only, I'm only kidding. Here we go, Paul. So, second question goes to you, Paul. Yeah. If you take the letters Chris, Winker, Ross, and Monty Mole, what would your Scrabble score be? <laughs> what? All of them? All those letters. What Combined. Scrabble? Uh, Scrabble. 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 Monty the Mole and Ross. 78. He's gone 78. So, Chris, do you think the score is more or less than 78? I'm not very good at Scrabble. I'll go lower. <laughs> He's gone lower. The correct answer, well, apparently, 
Paul's not good at it either. So, <laughs> <laughs> the score is actually 43. 43. So, Chris, you are in charge of the board, and your first card is a three. I'll stay yeah, with that. Okay. Higher or lower? Higher. Higher than the three. We've got a 10. Lower. Lower than the 10. We've got a two. I'll go higher. Higher than the two. We've got an eight. Oh, middle of the road. Lower. Lower than an eight for game two. And the win. Oh, he's done it. <laughs> Chris, pressure is totally off. I'll tell you what, if it's 3 0, is that 3 uh, 0? Is that worth a pint in the Legion next time we're <laughs> on? Surely. See you in 2025. <laughs> now, the good news, of course, Paul, is uh, if you do get beat 3 0, you are not alone. Mm. Cami Valentine is also in that situation. So, for a bit of pride, you need to at least try and win one game here. Okay? Right. Yeah. Third, third question. It, yeah. This was this goes back to you, Chris. So, Paul has made over 250 appearances since 2012 for the Mighty Mo. But how many times did he take to the pitch last year? So, last year, how many times did he take to the pitch? Is that, per, is that calendar year or season? We'll go with a season. Obviously got wrote off, didn't it? Um, another 12. Okay. Do you think it's higher or lower, Paul? Higher. The correct answer is 22. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> 22 games. So, Paul, you take yep. charge of the board. So, the first card... Oh, it's a good start. It's a king. Stick with that. Okay. Higher or lower? Lower. Lower than a king. We've got a three. Ooh. Higher. Higher than a three. It's a jock. Lower. Lower than a jock. Well, we've got a ten. Lower. Lower than a ten. Is he going to make it? Yeah, he is. Oh, consolation. The consolation. You've regained a little bit of dignity for we yourself. We've got a Yeah, we've got a <laughs> Now, Chris, as, as well as you winning tonight, that's you now put the fans uh, four points clear. It is 11-7 after that game. So, how are you feeling about that, Chris? Well, I'm just happy I've done my part for the, uh, for the Dynamo. <laughs> well done mate well done Chris Cheers, mate. and, and what, what about yourself Paul how are you feeling yeah just something's not adding up here eh? like, I was in the waiting room for a while trying to get into the call I'm just wondering if there was a wee bit of discussion going on before I got in but uh, well, no, I'm sure it's inquiry <laughs> I'm, only kidding. I'm only kidding well beat I was well beat so yeah well done to the fans boys are struggling big time here how many games have we got left Hours and very little time to do them in. Oh. There is quite a lot of games left, and that's yeah, and fingers been, crossed. Scottish I'm, Cup and everything, yeah. I'm oh. still, still confident in the boys that will pull this back. Yeah. They need some YouTube yeah. practice. Watch it all few episodes, yeah. <laughs> well, look, thank you very much to both of you for volunteering to do this for the Community Trust tonight. But, Chris, I have spared no expense, and I have had a gift delivered all the way down to you, pal. Did you receive it? I have, yeah, I've been wondering what's in the bag. Right, come on then, pal, get that bag up and show the world what I have sent. Hey, it's a toilet roll. <laughs> <laughs> Those were like gold dust during our first <laughs> lockdown. So I thought... I'll tell you something, I'm glad I've opened it inside, not outside, where people could see. <laughs> I'm more interested. Have you got any great plans for this wonderful gift I've given you now, Chris? <laughs> um, I might actually frame it to be fair I might put it on the shelf for a bit 
that sounds that sounds like a very very good idea to me. Yeah, but if this lockdown continues, I'll get it on eBay in a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Make a fortune. <laughs> right. Well, look. Thanks again, lads, for doing this. Much appreciated. Um, take care of yourselves. And Chris, look very much forward. And you, Paul. But Chris, yeah. I look really much forward to seeing you back at at Links Park sometime soon. This weekend we can, mate. We'll be there. Happy days. Take care, boys. Thanks. Cheers, Chris. Cheers, Cheers Ross. Ross.